Hello Virgo, this is going to be your Venus Direct video. I hope you're doing well. In this spread, we're going to go over to see how you and your partner are going to be doing the energies that they're feeling now that Venus has gone direct or is going direct. I shall say, a lot of you have been like, this. when is this Venus retrograde going to end? <laughs> She'll be retrograding again in 16 months. So this one's just really hard in Scorpio. We have the Six of Wands, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles, someone who's feeling left out in the cold, or, you know, they're doing that to you, but I feel like they feel that way. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, yep, Ten of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Nine of Swords, and we have the Chariot. Some of you are dealing with a Cancer, okay? Um, someone is having financial problems. A lot of this is about finances. Maybe you're dealing with a cancer who there's a lot of money being spent and there's problems in the, in the relationship due to, um, money. Okay. Um, for some of you, this is a family situation that's kind of gone left right now. Um, there's a lack of communication between maybe spouses, maybe because I'd seen you guys were going moving on from a person so this could be the person that you've moved on from okay but they're really trying to like move back into the relationship with you sorry guys i gotta get some water um <clears throat> the two of swords is telling me that you're not communicating with them or they're not communicating with you but i feel it's really because you cut them off they're going to try to come back though they're going to try to like convince you to take them back or convince you that you guys can fix whatever the situation is, okay? For some reason, they've got some boost of confidence. Maybe you guys have had a good conversation. Maybe you have finally opened up to them or they just can't take the energy of not talking to you anymore, okay? Maybe they just can't, They maybe they thought they were okay with losing you and they've decided they um, wanna change, okay? They wanna try to move forward now that they've looked at what they've lost and they've decided, hey, this wasn't worth the other party to a pentacles this wasn't worth the arguments over money we could have stuck that out so it's a change of heart it's kind of what i get because i feel as though this person may have been giving the energy of someone who doesn't care they're okay with the way things are you know they're going to continue these habits continue what they want but then they really start to sit alone with themselves or they really you really started giving them the cold shoulder. You really did cut them off. There was a really big argument. Whatever it is. But they've realized that they want to move forward with you. Okay, Chariot. They want to move past any type of conflicts that you've had. Okay. Um, you have to be open to this, Virgo. It's really up to you whether or not you want to move forward with this person. But just know that they do want a second chance at the romance with you. They want a second chance to move forward. Okay. But I feel like I said, you guys have to really decide if it's something that you want or not okay so <clears throat> let's get you guys an oracle card y'all got people out here having changes apart and stuff virgo okay i had too many come out i'm gonna try to get one that way it can be very general and it can fit your situation Okay, sorry, my dog's shaking the camera. Yzma, Yzma, you could stop shaking the cha the camera. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you. You have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. So that makes sense. Um, the two of swords here, and the, um, that's the opposite. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations is the opposite of the two of swords. So the first step to reconciling with this person is to open up, okay? Maybe you have to open up the lines of communication, or they do. Okay, if you're a cross watcher trying to figure out how to get things back on track with the Virgo, this is pretty general, and I think it's going to touch a lot of people. Because even if it's a breakup, okay, or maybe you guys are separating, and now you have children, and you have to figure out how to co-parent, there's still going to need to be a need to really honestly discuss how you feel, okay? This person needs to be honest with themselves, and as well as you, with about missing you, letting that pride go, or letting that... Um, unhealthy habit that they're doing whether it is juggling multiple people or spending money not contributing or worrying about money too much that could be what it is well but um 
honestly discussing your feelings with your partner, I feel like it's beneficial, okay, for those who want to reconcile with your partner and move forward. Venus Direct is giving you the opportunity to do that. But for some of you, the lesson was being open with your partner and vice versa. So in order for you guys to really move forward after the test of Venus Retrograde is to do what you've learned, which is silence is not golden in a relationship, especially when you want to move forward and you want things to last. Okay, silence can be death, a death sentence to a marriage or a relationship. Okay. So I hope that this helps you out, Virgo. Um, please leave a comment <laughs> down below and a like. Yzma's trying to make her way into my videos. She's really like convinced she should be on YouTube, but maybe one day Yzma, I don't know, not right now. <laughs> um, I hope you guys really enjoy the content. Please hit the subscription button if you wanna see the rest of the November readings that I'll be posting, Virgo. And just let me know how you like this direct video. I think it's very positive, giving you guys were kinda of like having the energy of being done with someone and you may still be done with this person, but they at least wanna come forward and try to talk to you, okay? So see you later, Virgo, bye.